It's a beautiful day today. Uh, how did you feel when you were presented with the Cancer Research UK Flame of Hope Award? Well, I was surprised and delighted because I hadn't even heard of uh, this award because most of the Flame of Hope Awards are for volunteers, so ladies that have been working in the Cancer Research UK shops for 25 years, have been doing lots of fundraising, and this is the award for an employee who's uh, done things to help uh, research engagement. So I was delighted to receive the award. So this feeling will last for a long time in your life, huh? I hope so. I yeah. Hope so. The citizen science game you were involved in developing sounds both fun and effective. Could you tell us more about it? So the reverse the odds game involves uh, members of the public playing uh, reversi or Othello on their smartphone or on their tablet. Uh, and in order to progress up the levels of the game, they have to help us do our science. And in doing that, what they do is they look at images of s microscopic cells from cancer patients that have already been treated with their cancer, and they help us score how strongly stained the cells are, or um, also often how many cells are present. And by doing that, they're helping speed up our science, because it would take as many, many hours in the laboratory, just one, two, three people doing it. Um, but when we have all these members of the public helping, it speeds up the process for us. Right. Uh, you know, the, uh, in your interview with the Professor Dennis Noble, uh, you talked about death sentence. You know, it, in the past, mm. it was a bit like death sentence uh, cancer for can cancer yeah. patients. Will we ever win the fight for cancer? Well, I think that's the hope, and I think that's why so many of us across the world, there are many, many thousands, tens of thousands of people working in cancer research. I think that's why we all do it, because we believe that ultimately in the long term we will be able to find cures for cancers. Do you have any tips for people who are directly or indirectly affected by cancer? Well, I think the main thing is to maintain hope because there is always things that can be done. Uh, many cancers can be detected early nowadays where patients have a good chance of cure. And in that situation, it's a case of dealing with the diagnosis, which can be, have a major impact on people's lives and, as you say, the people around them. Um, and also uh, going through the treatment, some of which can be very gruelling if they're having um, treatment with an attempt at cure in some situations. Um, but then hope needs to be maintained through that so that they can turn up for all the appointments and have all the treatment. When it's the other situation where perhaps you're not going to be able to cure the cancer, then I think hope is still important because although people may come to accept that they are going to die from their cancer, what they have to have um, hope in is that they're not going to be in pain or have unnecessary suffering. And they need to realise that there are many things that can be done to help palliate their symptoms, um, the hospice movement and other things like that. Well, actually, positiveness is always important. Absolutely, a positive attitude. Every moment. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, do you have any tips for young people who wish to do research on cancer? Well, yes. I think if they're very young, then they need to get all the right um, GCSEs and A-levels at, at school so that they can go in and do a, a bachelor's in science and then progress to a PhD. But I would certainly say it's a very valuable and worthwhile career for people. Um, interesting day-to-day -day work, um, finding new discoveries, the excitement of uh, things going well and finding new, new things. It's an exciting job for people. Yeah, there may be so many young students uh, who may be uh, interested in applying uh, for medical science mm -hmm. subjects. Mm -hmm. What kind of subjects could be very in, uh, important? Chemistry? Or? I think chemistry, biology, possibly physics, but certainly maths. Um, I think they're important in going into medicine, certainly. Yeah. Thank you very much for your precious time. Thank you very much.